waiting for you all to come on in as usual. <laughs> Elevated Goddess 1717, Loving Life, aka Love M, Princess E, VB, Bratz. Get those likes up, y'all. Today is going to be a day. This was actually inspired by you, Love M. I mean, I know I do my hauls, but um, I want to do something a little different today. Today, I want to just show some things that I have bought, some fashion finds from Walmart, Rainbow, the thrift store, a consignment shop, some of my jewelry pieces. This is just going to be fun. Show you some of my style. Now, I literally did some recording last night, so it's a little rushed, but I'll have more of these type of videos in the future. Also, I do have my Poshmarks, um, an eBay store, and I might show one, one thing I'm about to sell as well. Made some sales this week. I'm so happy. And um, yes, I'm just waiting for a little bit more of you to come on in. Hey, Melissa Cano ladies let's have some fun with fashion okay so let's see i'm about to get started now 25 okay don't make me sound like some old lady dream girl. I'm only 33. Goodness. But thank you. <laughs> Be sure to let me know if there's any buffering. Let me get my phone. Sometimes the chat moves a little faster on my phone. Now, my shoes, my best shoes are still packed up. I got a lot of shoes. I'm going to show a few shoes, but they're not my best. But I don't give my exact date of birth, but it is in October. Okay, so... Let's get this started. Okay, on one of my lives, I had um, I had shown you this dress. You know, I'm not with the buffering. So I don't know if I should start this over. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't buffer. If it starts, I'll try to, I might have to start over because I worked too hard gathering my pictures up for a disastrous video. Okay, so this is actually sort of a green color. It's more green. It looks a little teal on camera. Now, this is a Eva Mendez Maxi, a long wrap dress, actually. And 
I got it for $11, but it's still new with tag for $89. So that was a really good deal. New with tags, $89. I got it for $11 at a consignment shop. And, you know, you know, I love flowers. It's nothing like flowers. It's very feminine. It's very soft. It's dainty. And this sort of, no, it's not cherry blossom, but I just had to have it when I saw it. Okay. So this is me in the dress. I love it so much. I feel so like so feminine in this dress. The color is a more of a green color in person, but yes. Now, I paired it with it's show it's kind of bright on camera but it's these teal type of green earrings i actually got these earrings from walmart for about i think it was like close to four dollars these earrings it might not be showing up on camera good but it, it is actually it matches this this teal green very good I'm trying to get it to show up on, on here good. Yeah. Let's see. And these are very beautiful. I had to have them. Walmart has stepped this game up something serious when it comes to jewelry. So with this dress, it was perfect. I love the sleeves. Feel like such a lady in this. Ladies, the men are going to look at you in something girly and cute like this. Okay? Trust me when I tell you that. Let's look at it one more time. Gorgeous. And I'm 5'9 for the person asking. 5'9. Now, when it comes to the shoes that you could pair with this, you could pair it with some white bottoms. I paired it with these ankle strap topes, um, open toe sandals. And I actually got this from Target. They were on sale for $15. I have it in um, black, animal print, leopard, and um, white. But this matched perfectly with it, like a nude type of color, a nude shoe. I love an ankle strap. That's, like, that's my favorite style, is an ankle strap. Oh yes, I changed my, my hairstyles up with um, my dresses my outfits. Now, Loving M, you asked me about Rainbow. I did recently get these really cute, simple shoes from Rainbow. Now, I could pair this with the dress too. They're comfy, a flat heel. Okay. 
So I really love that. Now the next thing that I want to show y'all that I got, I got this from the same consignment shop. The size was missing, but I knew it could fit. I could tell that I tried it on and fit. It was a little big, but it looked good. It kind of has that boho kind of look to me. And the color I love is burgundy. Burgundy. Hold on. Burgundy is such a cute color on black women up on you know brown skin it's it's a beautiful color so that's more kind of a reddish color but okay this is more of it sorry if y'all can hear the um the man low, mowing the lawn i hate that he's so loud my goodness okay so this is actually a very long off the shoulder burgundy maxi it's very long well it's not extremely long because i am 5'9 it's perfect so this is it this is how it actually looks on me. A lot of you couldn't see the vision when I had showed it because I couldn't show the whole thing. But yes. I love it. Also, dang, I'm gonna be showing you some jewelry a nice long simple necklace you don't even have to wear a necklace with this type of dress um, you could it's it's simple it's kind of the boho but sexy look to me shoulders out okay yes if you want to be sexy without looking too too overly sexy all, you're having your shoulders out is enough or a slit in your dress, a ankle bracelet, a pair of strappy um, sandals, you know, that, that tie up, up your leg. Those are ways to be sexy without having all your booty out. Okay, because men really love when they see your shoulders out. They really do. Plus, it looks cute. Okay. Actually... I have to get something. Give me one quick second. I actually forgot to bring it in. So keep looking at this dress real quick. Let me go get my blazer. Hold on real quick. Okay, I'm back. I absolutely love blazers. Blazers are so versatile. You can wear them with dress pants to work and you can pair them with jeans. Um, I love a blazer. So remember I had showed Sarah Langa. She is a South African superstar and socialite. And if you go on her Instagram, she dresses her butt off. And when I saw, um, that's more kind of like a cape. It looks sort of plaid, but it's tw it has a tw it's tweed too. So this is a blazer that I got from the thrift store. I probably paid less than $5 for it. And it's by George, which I believe is Walmart okay now her friend she has another very stylish friend and this lady is a stylist and um what i will do when this video is over i will put in the comment section or in the description box i will put um the ladies pictures that i'm showing 
I will put their Instagram in the description box. But I love this outfit. I really do. She looks so chic to me. And she has the... This is very similar to what she has on. And you know what? I didn't even take a picture of me in it. So I'm going to put it on now. Now I did lose some weight. So this might be kind of big. Oh yeah, this will be big on me. Because I lost weight. When I bought this, I was heavier. That's it. Doesn't have shoulder pads. It is too big now, but hey, it's still cute though. But it's, you know, I was going for the look. Okay. Okay, so. The next item, ah, I love this lady style. See, when you are older woman, this woman is probably like in her 60s, 70s. That's how you do it, okay? You can still be cute, you can still be stylish at that age. And you see her little purse? This purse is so cute. Now hers is a little more pinker than mine. But I love this. It has the pearls. It's a small pocketbook. I bought I bought mine off Poshmark. I actually haven't even worn this yet. It's small. It's enough to fit your phone and your wallet and some money. But it's super cute. It is so cute. This big old butterfly and these big pearls. Love it. I got a shave. I know. So that's one purse that I have that I love a whole lot. Oh yeah, the small purses is the trend for this year, the small purses. But I had got this last year and I love it so much. Look. Okay. Now, again, I love a blazer and well this has some shoulder pads the material it's an open front type of blazer you can wear this with dress pants it's the color red it might be a little big on me because when I bought it I was bigger and what I love about a red open front or a button up blazer, it doesn't matter. What I love about it is that you can pair it with, um, you can pair it with some blue jeans and a white shirt. And again, you can wear it with um, dress pants too, or a dress skirt. And 
I rem excuse me, I remember this look that Beyonce had wore years ago. It's very simple, but I have this, this red bla um, open front blazer. So what I decided to do, hold on. Okay. I already, of course, like most women, have a pair of blue jeans. So I got the blue jeans. I haven't worn this yet, but it's like a baby doll. It's a it's simple, a simple white. It's buffering a little bit, so I pause when it buffers. Okay, hold on. I have a white cami. So I have the blue jeans, I have the white cami. I have the blazer. Now as far as animal print, okay. I bought these um, these loafers at Walmart, but I also have these. Remember from Target, these open toe ankle sandals, strap sandals, ankle strap sandals. So I could pair it with that. My shoes as the animal print. I also have an animal print clutch. These are one of my favorite pairs of shoes. These are so sexy and cute. Only $15. It might be on sale again right now on Target.com. So. Oh, yes. So this was kind of the look I felt like, okay, I can replicate this look that Beyonce was wearing with my blazer. So this was it. Okay. Same type of look. I have a magazine design clutch that I could also pair with it. Basically the same thing. As far as the animal print again, I could I could wear these shoes. Okay, a lot of you like it. I'm so happy. It's a simple thing, you know? You can go to any thrift store and find a blazer most of the time. A white shirt, some blue jeans. Okay, so. Alright. So, yeah. Sort of replicated that look a little bit affordable adorable thank you so yeah y'all what y'all think of these shoes leave the number one if you think these are some cute sandals leave the number one if you think these are cute and if you like the outfit very simple Sometimes you can draw inspiration from looking at celebrity outfits and you can find it at a very affordable price. They might be wearing a blazer that's like $1,000, but you can find something similar for under $5 at a thrift store. And it's always good to mix high and low. Oh, thank you. Y'all like it. Okay. So. Okay. The results are in, y'all all like it. Oh yes, you can't you can never go wrong with animal print, period. Okay, also. All right. In the video, I had paired it with this. I've had this for years. I don't even remember where I bought this from. This is a magazine type of clutch. A clutch purse summer style guide it has this lady on it but i like the colors black white and red and i could pair this with it 
So, and if I don't wear that, maybe I could pair, pair it with my purse. The blazer is a little, maybe one shade lighter than the photo. Or again, I could always just pair with my animal print clutch that I have. I have a leopard one. Okay, so that's one outfit. Another outfit. Now, ladies, when it comes to, hold on. Clothes are over there. When it comes to polka dot, polka dot is, well, it could be a hit or a miss. You know, I used to be told, you know, stay away from really bold prints if you're plus size, like horizontal stripes. It will only make you look larger. That's true, but vertical stripes you can wear. And polka dot to me is the ultimate girly girl type of print. I just, I love polka dot. I really do. But not everything I see. Not everything I see. And with polka dot, there's so many ways you can wear polka dot. I mean, you can, a beautiful polka dot you know, type of dress. Now she paired a polka dot headband too with her dress. Okay. It's so many, you have navy blue and with white polka dots, pink with white polka dots, white with pink polka dots is so much. Yes, AB, APBX, um, she says polka dots is timeless. Yes, it is. Polka dots is a timeless print. And, um, so she has the dress. This woman, she paired it. She has her polka dot blazer with her polka dot shorts. Hmm. I'm wondering, would I wear this outfit? Leave the number two, y'all, if you would wear this outfit. If Tanya TKO was watching, hey girl, I know I'm taking the thing. Leave the number one or two. <laughs> okay. Okay. Some of you said that you love it. Okay. Hey, the I, I've gone to some stores, but a lot of them are still closed, or you got to wear the mask. Um, I've been to my thrift store. Okay. Yes, with some red pumps. Oh, yes. So she she did that. Then you have, um, okay, that's uh, another shirt. It, it can be so fun. A polka dot top. So fun and girly and feminine. Love it. Okay, she has her long polka dot type of duster that she's rocking. Okay, some of you said you would like it in the color pink. Okay, so, and sometimes you can pair it with a, a yellow color, black, white, and yellow is like the bumblebee type of colors together. I don't know if I would wear these pants. I'm not 100% sure, but I just wanted to post the picture so you could see an idea of the colors like red, light pink, bait, hot pink, navy blue, yellow paired with polka dot. Now this is a top. So what I did is I paired mine with my red pants. Now I've been searching, look, I'm tall. Do you know how hard it is to find red dress pants? Not dark red, not super bright. I can't find it. I was only able to find It's more of a dark red, but red and polka dot goes together perfect. Anybody that's tall, go on eBay. 
These are by the Quacker Factory, which is usually sold on Home Shopping Club or QVC. I got mine new with tags. Okay, I was able to get into, I'll say it, a 14 tall. Hey, I was wearing much larger than that, so I've come down in my weight. 5'9 again, okay? So, paired it together. And it looks great. Okay. So I have it in black and white. It's a flirty top because of the cold shoulder design. Having the shoulders out is one of my favorite type of looks. Okay. Yes, I was feeling myself in the outfit. Okay. You could also, I don't know. I keep thinking of a nice pink. Maybe pink lipstick or something, but, um, oh yes, it has the heart on the pants, beach girl. Thank you, cool cat. Okay, so, I loved it. Um, Dream Girl, you would like to know what I think about Ari Fletcher on Instagram. I follow her. I have mixed feelings. I like her hustle. Um, I don't like the super long nails, but sometimes she doesn't wear that. Um, she motivates me to get in shape. <laughs> I don't know much about her. I'm not sure how she became famous. I think she sells lashes, and that's what I love. I love... I love seeing black women um, starting their own businesses and stuff because I want to do those type of things. I mean, I already sell clothing and items, but to see her do that, um, even if some of them could seem really ghetto and stuff, I'm still able to be inspired in some way by seeing them rise above and, and make a lot of money with their own products and stuff. Um, I don't know much about her. I think she's dating this rapper. And you know, I'm sure you can imagine how I feel. She's a pretty woman. Don't become a baby mama to this rapper. That's all I can say. You're young. Don't do it. You know. Thank you, AU. Yes, I have heels. But sometimes it can be hard. You know, I used to not always want to wear heels because I was already 5'9". And I'm literally like 6 feet and over 6 feet when I wear heels. And I kind of don't always like the attention. But then I find a lot of men, they, they, I've had men say, oh, I want to climb that tall glass, you know, or, oh, you could model, you're so tall. And a lot of women say they want to be tall, but once you're tall, the taller women are like, no, we want to be shorter. Um, I mean, without the heels, I'm not super tall, but I, I do have some heels, but being plus size, you know, I have to wear a nice chunky heel. I need something comfortable. Sometimes they're not comfortable. Um... If I do wear flats, I try to get the cutest type of flats I can, and I'll show y'all some of my shoes later in this video. Okay, so that's the polka dot. That's the red polka dot. I mean, the white polka dot. Then, oh, and I bought that from these, these from Rainbow in the store, not online. This was like last year. I haven't even worn these yet, but I loved it also in a red and white polka dot this is the same top let's see if the tag is still on it how much i paid for this i might have took the tag off oh no the tag is still on here oh i think i got this from simply 10 not rainbow because it's oh it was only ten dollars Simply 10 is not located all around the country, but it's a lot of it in the South. Maybe on the West Coast, go on their website, simply10.com. Everything is $10 in the store. Everything. The jewelry can sometimes be $8, but yeah. So this was $10. and okay normally i would probably actually pair this with 
white bottoms that's a better choice white bottoms but yeah i paired it with the, the black for this video but white bottoms or even the light blue jeans you could wear this with but white bottoms would probably be the best to go with okay so just like the white top to me i love that it is cold shoulder Thank you, Vanetta. Oh, yes. Um, wide feet shoes. Yes, I do wear them. I don't often talk about it. Yes, I do. I know the struggle. Um, my shoes from Target were wide width. Um, if I don't wear a wide, I'll just go up a size, a regular size. Hey, Courtney, I'll just go up a, a regular size. But yeah, the struggle can be real, especially trying to find comfortable shoes. But I have a ton of shoes and, um, you know, when I lost weight, my, sh my feet kind of shrunk too. So it, it, the shoes fit, fit better, you know. Actually, some shoes my size were bigger on my feet. But, um, okay, so this is that. Now, when it comes to stripes, I did say... Now, okay, when it comes to stripes, when you're plus size again, it's been recommended don't wear horizontal stripes, wear vertical stripes. I mean, you can if you want to, it's just they say it can make you look a little bigger. I don't always follow every fashion rule, you know, like, oh, you can't wear white after Labor Day. That rule has gone away. Some people still follow it, especially older women, but um, you can wear white now. A lot of things are a little different. Some stuff will never change when it comes to certain fashion rules. Maybe I would be breaking the ultimate rule wearing white after Labor Day. I don't often do it, but, you know, sometimes I want to. And um, as far as the stripe thing, yes, it kind of can depend on your body shape, though, where you can look larger. But look at Melanie Matroshka. You know I'm going to put her picture up, okay? The, one of the ultimate social feminine women okay and she's wearing some stripes and it's colorful and and she's always looking fabulous sipping on her drinks traveling the world with her man so i got this it's still yeah new i think i got this from roses i paid ten dollars and 99 cent for it this is a nice stripe, stripe top. The colors is olive green, yellow, black, cream. I actually have a pair. Um, I actually have a pair of olive green pants that this would go perfect with. Give me a second, y'all. I gotta text somebody. I'm sorry. <sighs> Okay, hold on real quick, y'all. This is a live. Anything can happen on a live. Okay. No, Michael, I don't have your collard greens and cornbread ready for you. You need to be taking care of me and doing right by me for me to be cooking like that for you. <laughs> uh, okay so again I love this look give me one second y'all about that y'all okay oh hey Claire Clarine 
Greetings from the UK. I love your channel and your beautiful top. Thank you for the excellent information. Keep up the good work. Hey, girl. And all of the people from the UK. Hey. Okay. So this was it. So I know some women can be afraid of stripes, especially colorful stripes, but I'm telling you, as a matter of fact, you know, I recorded, so I paired it with Okay. Just like the animal print. Sorry for the little stain on it. It's like velvet, but it's it can easily come off. Black strappy heel, low heel. A strappy heel can be very sexy. Okay. So if I don't wear it with my black capris, I will wear it with. Okay, it's buffering a little bit. Okay. If I don't wear it with my olive um, pants, then I'll wear it with my black capris. Okay, I also have some yellow strappy heels too, but I think black is perfect. As far as the live chats, Dream Girl, um, YouTube is the one who takes care of all of that. I mean, if I record something and it, it doesn't pop up, I had one that didn't pop up until the next day. It was a six hour live. Um, sometimes it could be an hour or two. Um, but it's YouTube. I, you know, I can't control it. You know, it's frustrating a little bit, but yes, this is so cute. A cute V-neck and I love it. Leave the number one again. If you like this top, if you like the outfit, I need to, I want to hear your opinion. Okay. Do not be afraid of color. Okay. And it doesn't always have to be bright colors. But yellow is a wonderful color to wear. And I love that it has yellow in it. Stripes, I don't always wear stripes, but you know, it has the vertical stripes. So it kind of was very flattering on me. Oh my God, Princess Peach. I have a ton of jewelry. Actually, I gave away a lot of it, but I have still a lot. I love jewelry. I can never have enough jewelry. I don't listen. I, I used to hear, but if you got something similar. It don't matter. It's not the same. I never get tired of jewelry, period. Every woman, it used to frustrate me working in retail years ago and the women wouldn't wear jewelry. I'm like, you're a woman. What's wrong with you? Be feminine, wear your jewelry. You know, here's a really nice ring I have. It's in the shape of a starfish and it has diamonds. I don't know if it's showing on camera good, but it's super cute. Very cute, I love it. Okay, and I haven't worn that yet. I'm going to wear this outfit soon because I had this top since last year and I haven't worn it yet. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you, Mint. <laughs> okay, so... All right, the next thing... I'm actually an affiliate of this company. I haven't promoted the clothing yet. They don't send me anything. I buy the clothing, whatever I like. And if I want to share it with you, I have a code. Well, you just click on the link. And that just means when I'm when a sale is made, I get a small percentage. But I didn't do the haul like I should have done since last year. But I'm going to show you a dress I got, which actually I was inspired to buy by another YouTuber. I don't have her name right now, but she was in one of my videos about black women teaching in the Middle East. And she had a haul she did from Sheen. And when I saw the dress, I said, oh my God, I got to have this dress. And it's absolutely stunning. Oh, thank you, Vanetta. Bye, speech girl. Okay, so... 
I love animal print. I love snake print. I love leopard. I love zebra. I got this. This is a dress. Okay. It's, I guess, a mock neck. It's not a, a complete turtleneck. It has this, you tie this around your waist two times. Y'all listen, this in person, in person, this is something serious. A sexy strappy, um, going up your leg type of heel or girl, listen, I, the shoes I paired it with, I would actually go for something a little sexier, but in the fall look, you can wear your tights, put on some knee high boots or your ankle boots. Okay, AJ says she thinks she has the same dress. Okay, so. Listen, this is bad. Yeah, I'm doing some dancing up in this because damn it, y'all, it's absolutely beautiful. It is gorgeous. And this was like under $20 from Sheen. Look, hopefully I'll find my um, link because if any of you want to buy this dress, if it's still available, I'll put it in the description box. So you'll also be helping Cerebral out when you do that, if you make a purchase. So. Oh yes, pair it with um, some sunglasses, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> So fall and winter perfect. I don't have it's not showing it, but this actually has it has a slit on the side as well. It has a slit. It's not extremely high, but it makes it even more sexier. Thank you, Princess Peach. Oh yes, with some boots in the fall. Okay, so yes, this was a favorite find at sheen.com. Love an animal print. Yeah, different shoes. It ain't really sexy enough for me. But, you know, this dress is cute. Let me show you my next thing. Okay, my next dress. When I tell you this is sexy, this is something you wear on a date when you out with your man. I, women are gonna ask you, where did you get this dress? And you won't believe the brand. I mean, I'm not saying they don't have cute things. Now, I got this from the thrift store. I paid $5 for this dress and it is a plus, oh, it's extra large. Plus size still, forever 21. But this is what makes it cute. It's a maxi. It does have a hole up top, but you can't even notice it. And the middle part has a gold type of belt. It's a nice long maxi, but the thing with it, it has a slit on each side around the thigh on each side has a slit and okay you see that's what I love I love the belt around the waist but most of all I love the slits okay gorgeous 
and I only paid five dollars for my dress from the thrift store it was a great find Okay, so y'all like it. Okay, good y'all like the dress too. I, I, I love this. Believe me when I tell you the video isn't even doing it justice. You have to see this dress in person. In person, this dress is something serious. Okay, so... Yeah... It was really nice. I said, okay, I would totally wear this type of dress out on a date. You know, maybe a different hairstyle. I'm not sure. Oh, <gasps> Katina says she has the red one. Oh my God. Oh my God. I know it's gorgeous. Yes, y'all. $5. I'm telling you, don't be prideful again. You will find some stuff at the thrift store. Okay, I went to Value Village. $5 for this dress? Literally $5? Shoot. I said, no, I'm getting this, period. I am getting this. Okay, let me see if I got another picture. Oh, yes. Okay, so I hope y'all like my style so far, things I like to wear. It doesn't even have to be a date because I'm wearing this period. I don't care if I'm going to Walmart. I'm wearing it. Now... Okay. I haven't worn this dress yet. And I got it from Simply 10 again. Hold on. No, no, no. Okay. Not actually, it might have been Rainbow because it's, it was $18. Okay. So it must be Rainbow where I bought this from. I'm guessing, you know, I can tell. It's, yeah. Yes, the brand is definitely Rainbow. I bought this in two colors this dress okay. now this is a versatile dress you can wear this to work you can wear this on a date out and about any occasion almost almost and you can pair this with so much because it's red. Okay, and... Okay. Beautiful. You can pair this with your black shoe, white shoes. I think, you know, I don't know if I would do white, but shoot, the animal print shoe. Okay, you could do the animal print shoe with this. Oh yes, Mint says you can never go wrong with a red dress. Um, again, if I wanted to, I could do this again the magazine clutch with the red. Um, I could do, my, my 
purse, this with the red. And this is so gorgeous. Now the thing is, sometimes some things can be cut small because I, this, I'm, I'm an extra large 1X and this is a 3X and it fits perfectly. That's been the case with Simply 10 sometimes too. All their stuff where they order from, their 3Xs fit like a 1X. So it'll fit me. I just have to get the larger size, which is a 3X for it to fit. So not only did I get this in red, Hmm. I'm definitely feeling this. I felt so sexy with this and the blonde hair with the red, it just complements each other. It just, to me, is sexy. Again, this is a versatile type of outfit. You can wear it to work and you will have women looking at you like, where did she get this from? Oh, she thinks she cute or, oh girl, you look good. Okay, where'd you get that dress from? Or you get off of work and you want to meet a man or, or he picks you up or whatever. Y'all going out somewhere to get something to eat or something. I don't know, but, it, you know, it's cute. I was definitely feeling myself in this dress. Okay. It's a cute dress. I like a lot. Okay. It's a little asymmetrical. The fabric is like polyester. It's very nice. It has the, the um, silver buckle on the side. And I also got it in black. And you can't go wrong with a black dress. Ladies, we already know that. So I had to get it in black. With my black ankle strap shoes, it's perfect. And of course, these sunglasses, I told y'all before, I got these sunglasses from Walmart. These glasses were like $10, $10, dollars from Walmart. And with the black dress, I decided to pair it I bought this from a website called Paparazzi. They have really nice jewelry. And this was a nice cuff. This was a nice cuff bracelet that you could pair with it. Um, I bought the dress from Rainbow. It's no longer for sale on Rainbow. I bought it, I think I bought it in the store. Oh my God, yes. Okay. So again, it's sort of an asymmetrical dress. One side is a little tad bit longer than the other, but it looks gorgeous. I would also maybe pair, here's some jewelry that I have this long diamond and you might not be able to tell it's diamond but it's a snake diamond earring i know how to sew by hand but as far as the sewing machine i need some work with that um i used to want to become a designer i still dream of that having a line and stuff like that but yes, okay. Hey, yeah, that's a fun dress. It's nice for work again, nice for a date. Or just out and about, looking good. Okay, so ladies, what I'm about to show you doesn't even the pictures will not do it justice. I found this at the thrift store. I paid less than $5 for this. When I saw this, I said, I can't believe it. I said, I'm, ha I'm getting this period. The print, this is totally Versace, vintage Versace vibes. And it fit. I was so damn happy. Oh, thank you, Gil. 
Y'all. This is a long duster. Look at this print. Listen, now I'm not even sure how I'm gonna wear this yet, but I threw something together. I might wear the blonde hair with this, I'm not sure. Okay. Maxilla. Okay, it's a long duster. Again, yes, I pay less than $5, men, from the thrift store. I tell women, y'all better stop thinking you're not going to find nothing at no thrift store. Okay. Um, you don't have to block Michael Lord Tavek. Um you know, he's okay. He's, you know, I ignore Michael and his cooking thing, cooking him some collard greens and cornbread. But, you know, I get a little bit of a laugh from him, I have to admit, with this whole cooking some cornbread. <laughs> okay. And he's not a, a racist troll. I saw his picture. But then again, people can hide their picture. But thank you, Lord Tybeck, for, I know you want to handle it, I know. Okay. So yeah, this is it. Gorgeous. This looks way better in person. Trust me when I tell you that. This is gorgeous. Okay, so. Thank you, Lord Tyvek. So I love, again, where's that picture at, a matter of fact? Again, I love wearing floral prints. I love seeing so many more black women wear floral prints. Okay, get in touch with your femininity, with your femininity and Floral prints is the ultimate feminine print to wear. It just is. It's dainty. It's just, it's, you can't go wrong with floral, period. And hold on. What are y'all asking me? Which is it would be another one. Is there a, a color or style that's definitely not for you? See, I like all styles. I went through phases. Like when Britney Spears came out and the preppy look was big, I was into that. When the Spice Girls came out and them huge clog shoes came out, them big old shoes, I was into that. I like the goth look, believe it or not, sometimes. I like the vampire type of look. Um, I don't know necessarily about wearing the black lipstick. I mean, I used to kind of be into that. I never wore it, but I kind of liked it. I like the Victorian look, and this kind of gives me Victorian vibes when I wear lace. Um, I like I like literally all styles. Um, I don't know. I like I like so many different things. Um, you can unblock him for now if you want to, Lord Tybeck. Yeah, for now he can be unblocked. But if I catch something too bad, I will block block him or tell you if you know you can block him okay i love the baby doll look i love um you know what even though the harajuku girls in japan some of that can be too extreme like okay what i'm not into i see so many women of all backgrounds doing this it pains me when they think they're being stylish by mixing stripes with zebra and polka dot in one outfit 
I don't always like the eccentric neo soul type of look where it's like polka dots with a zebra and then a stripe thing. All of that print in one outfit. I'm like, you look a hot ass mess. What are you doing? Or plaid with with something else like they think it's fashion because oh it's so different yeah but it looks ugly like what are you wearing i'm not i like sometimes i like the eccentric look if the stuff matches and it flows well i don't like the extreme i would post some examples but you know i'll have these women pictures i've seen some things even on youtube top fashion people women i'm like what are you wearing like and people are praising this crap like, you don't know how to match your prints? Or you think just because you're going to match a bunch of different stuff together, that's, that's style now. I'm like, girl, or you a 4X and you trying to fit a large on talking about it fit. I'm like, you know you lying. Stop. Uh, I don't like wearing something that's too damn small and not flattering. And if it is a little small, get a girdle or some shapewear to try to, you know, smooth it out, hide some stuff. Sometimes you can mix and match prints, but sometimes, no, it just don't work. I'm sorry. I don't care how much some of these women be trying to push it as fashion. It don't look cute. So that irritates me. Um, prints that don't match, people throwing them together in colors that don't go. On top of that, the hair is looking crazy. Or you wearing something with some lipstick that don't even match. Oh my God, I've seen this too much. I have seen this way too much up on here. I'm not naming no names as to where it's disturbed me. And I think people have lost their minds and they're trying to push. What I see in fashion today, they're trying to push stuff that years ago was considered terrible to wear. Like certain things people wouldn't be caught dead in is now considered fashion because they they got bored and they're trying to find something new to throw together. Um, I cannot stand um, things that aren't made correctly, just thrown together. They used to do that with plus size fashion a lot. Plus size fashion has come a long way, but it was frustrating. Like they took a damn sheet from a curtain and just threw some shit together. Oh, I couldn't stand that or it's not sewn correctly. I don't always like the high-low look all the time as far as the top is super short, but then the bottom is coming towards my ankle. I I can see if it's like a peplum style, something couture looking, but sometimes it's just like, who made this? Like, they literally just, thank you, Lord Tavek, they literally just threw something together and they're trying to call it fashion. You know, I could really say some stuff about what I've been seeing with fashion. Um... I'm tired of companies never making tall pants. I cannot go to any store and buy pants. I always can buy a shirt and accessories. I can never buy pants because these designers don't seem to think that tall women exist. Or they keep ordering their stuff. I've been in a lot of stores where, okay, why is your 20 fitting like a size 12? Where are you buying your stuff from? Are you even putting plus size models in these outfits? To even know if this is actually plus size? Because this is ridiculous. I don't even know how. I've seen women on YouTube getting into these pants that I couldn't even get in. And I'm smaller than them. I don't know how they do it. But yeah, the neglect, the discrimination within the fashion industry towards tall women really gets on my nerves. Tall plus size women especially. Okay, so. Positive video. Maybe some to this and they might take note and say wait hey, we need to make some more taller pants okay you said pretty dream girl says pretty little thing and misguided have pants for tall women okay i'll check them out because i have to order my pants you know online you know and the thing is most stores they're only like an inch and a half to two inches too short for me I'm like, if you could have just made it at least two inches longer, it would be perfect. And then sometimes when I order tall pants, they're too damn tall. They're like almost two inches too tall. So I've had to go get my, my pants hemmed up before that were too tall. So, okay. So, I love floral. Floral is the ultimate feminine. 
Floral is the ultimate feminine print, in my opinion. It also depends on how you wear it. And the next item that I have, okay, give me a second, y'all. I found this at the thrift store. Again, I paid $5 or less than $5. Okay, it's buffering a little bit. Again, I found this at the thrift store. I paid $5 or less than $5. It's actually a large, but it, it, it was a little bigger, so I was able to get into it. I love it because of the color. Thank you, Laura Tyvek. That's right, y'all get those likes up. Thank you. Um, it's navy blue, hot pink, and light pink, and green. It has an empire waist. That means it's kind of small at the waist up kind of high up top near your breast area under your breast area okay it's a long maxi it's a long maxi i love a maxi dress okay and video I have to say it doesn't look as flattering as it does in person it's much cuter in person than the video ladies trust me when I tell you you're gonna look dainty and cute men are gonna look and think oh who's that cute woman oh look at her and her flowers now, I do believe you can sometimes look, because I used to be told you don't want to look old lady. That's why I said it depends on the style sometimes. You don't want to look old lady, but every feminine leveled up woman and just classy woman I've ever seen has had some type of floral print. Okay, you can do the cold shoulder floral print top, which adds a little bit of sexiness to it, and I have some of those. So, I love pinks, I love blues, I love yellows, I love black. and pair this with a pinkish lipstick. It's the ultimate girly dress, so pretty. Your man comes home, your husband, you wearing a cute little mini or, or little floral dress, looking all good. You know he's going to look at you like a look at her. He's going to get turned on. Or you baking a, a pie or something in this dress. And he's watching you through, at the kitchen looking at you. Or making some lemonade. And he sees that cute little dress. I don't have to say much of what's going to happen. <laughs> yes, ladies. <laughs> okay, so now one of you mentioned Jean. I absolutely I love Jean. Rihanna was the one who made the Jean on Jean popular then everybody else started following the trend and i loved her outfit i love how she paired this together and i usually don't know if i would have worn it you know with the hat but rihanna just can wear anything she tends to, she just has amazing style and i love how she paired it with a nude heel and she could do without the baseball cap and i really loved it 
and hold on I love Rihanna style so I like unique things when it comes to jean pieces especially look as a plus size woman <gasps> love my babies forever says hello cerebral my son and I have made your cornbread recipes for the past two days he is 11 and he loves making your recipe we tried it a few months back and we've been obsessed with it saying hi thank you girl thank you I'm very proud of that video I mean I have like over a hundred thousand views on it and I swear to you, I've only had one person say that in like it. Everybody swears they love my doggone cornbread recipe. Very simple, easy recipe, Jiffy. So many good reviews and it just warms me up. It makes me so happy to hear that y'all liked it. And I have a surprise coming regarding cooking very soon. Okay? And that's all I will say. But thank you. Okay, so... I love Rihanna's style. I love how she started the jean on jean and how she mixed different textures, different looks together. She had her Chanel brooch and everything. And when I saw this, I really like this because it's cold shoulder. Oh, thank you, Jamila. Thank you. So I really liked this jean. It's a cold shoulder top. I could pair this with uh, light blue pants, jeans. Um, what stands out to me about it is the fact that it's cold shoulder. That's why I picked it because I don't really come across jean cold shoulder tops for plus sizes. I don't. So that's why I got this. And I got this from the thrift store. I think I paid $3 for it. $3. So when quarantine was over, the thrift store is the only thing that's been open. So of course I'm in there. And I wanted to see, and I have found some amazing pieces, as you can see. So, I paired it with some, you can wear it with some black jeans, which is what I did, some black jeans. Of course, you know, again, my shades i have a lot of sunglasses but these are actually my favorite because you know in the 90s and the 2000s they used to have the diamond the rimless shades with the um the diamonds around it and this has it on the sides so i saw it at walmart i'm like okay ten dollars it's gorgeous so i got two of them Okay, love me babies forever says I have that cold shoulder jean top. Okay. Okay. Again, what I love about it cold shoulder jean lightweight fits true to size it's a 1x front pockets and when i saw it because it was so stylish i couldn't help but think of rihanna when she wore her very stylish jean outfit that i do plan on replicating in the very near future love that look and I love I love Jean okay so three dollars three to five dollars from the thrift store can't beat it thank you AJ thank you okay Now, a lot of stuff I'm showing you came from the thrift store, okay? Don't sleep on the thrift store, ladies. Don't, like my video, Can I Level Up from the Thrift Store? If you haven't seen that video, that's a series I have. Check it out. Yes, you can. If 
you don't have to be broke to go to the thrift store, but if you are on a budget and you're a smaller woman, especially, oh my God, you know how to dress, you can find something. It never fails. Okay. I did say that the blues is, I love pretty blues, turquoise. Oh my God. I think of the ocean when I see beautiful blues and when I saw this top, actually I didn't get this from the thrift store. I bought this top, I'm gonna show you. I got it from off of Poshmark, okay? And I got a really good deal on it, okay? And it's this. Now the collar has sequins, but look at the design. This is so cute. It's a mixture of tur turquoise blue, uh, regular blue, white, and black. It looks kind of long on screen, but remember, I'm 5'9 now. And this is a tunic, three-fourth sleeves. And what I paired this with, let's see, I got everything down here. Now, being, like I said, trying to find tall pants, when I bought my Quacker Factory tall knit pants, I bought them. I plan on getting them in other colors. It's nothing like when you find a bunch of colors for you as a tall, wearing tall pants. I have these. I said, okay. Perfect match. I got this pocketbook from the thrift store. I think I paid like $5 for it as well. Very simple. Excuse me. Very simple. Now, if you don't want to wear, if it's too much blue for you, you could always just wear a black purse with this or a white purse. But yes. So let me show you the outfit. Sorry if the quality of the video isn't very good with me trying this on. But yes, I said this goes perfect with my, my pants. And I already had this pocketbook. So I'm like, this goes all together perfectly. That. Love my pants. I love my blue pants. And I love my top with it. I just, this print is everything to me. I love a medallion or a paisley print. Oh my God. Woo! Y'all, this looks even better in person. Okay. Lead Pat says, I think monotone colors make you look expensive. Ooh, yes. Nudes, Woo! my God. But yes, this is my favorite, one of my favorite tops. And I bought this off of Poshmark. And I know I probably sent in an offer. I might have paid only, what, $10 for this? Possibly. Poshmark, best deals. And I also sell on Poshmark. Okay. So speaking of the prints, the blue prints. Now, the next top I did get at the thrift store. I probably pay less than $5 usually for it. And this will look perfect paired with white bottoms. This is a standout color. It's neon green with blue, like a cobalt, cobalt I hope I said that right, blue with some white. White pants is perfect for this. But I didn't pair it with white pants. I'm going to show you what I paired it with. 
And that's this. Simple tunic. The colors might not be showing up on screen that well, but it is a neon green. It looks a little yellow. It's neon green with blue. Okay. And I have some blue um, capris that actually match um, what the color of the blue. So trust me, ladies, when I tell you everything looks amazing in person. Everything I showed you actually actually looks better in person. very pretty print and my blue capris that I bought it's a perfect match thank you Lactani princess yeah I know a lot of y'all I think it's because of the way the camera is I know stuff looks like dresses but a lot of times it's my shirt okay so the next y'all when i saw this i had to get it i was inspired by this top i remember erica minna had this top now you know as a plus size woman sometimes you might find stuff like that but it could be expensive so i was in the rainbow shop in the store and i saw this and this was so different than anything I usually buy. It kind of has this couture look. The material is like the scuba material, so it's a little heavy. I love the color yellow. And I haven't even worn this yet. I haven't worn it yet. It was $20, and I got it from Rainbow. It's a little bright on here. You tie it. You tie it in the middle. I know, right? It is, again, a heavy material. This looks great, like what she has on with white bottoms. Um, you could also, like the bumblebee type of look, you can wear black bottoms with it. I'm not sure if I would wear this hairstyle with this um, top. I'm not sure yet, but I fell in love with it. They had it in hot pink as well. And... Let me show y'all. Okay. I would need, it's very low cut, so you can see my nude bra. Um, I would have to get a yellow cami to go under this, the exact same color. Because it is low cut, you have to have something under it. So I didn't really have a yellow top, so. But that's it. And you tie it, it's thick. Um, I love it a lot. It wasn't tied the best. It wasn't tied the best. The sleeves is something serious. Y'all see it. And it is thick. I'll, um... I love tops like this because I love the boldness, like big old bowls. Sometimes, not all the times, okay? Not everyone could pull it off. Um, you said with this, you would need small shoulders to rock something like this. Okay, Silent Storm says, get a U-shaped bra for tops like this. But um, I like the, I like it how I can tie it. Sorry if y'all hear some noise. I love the bow. With this woman's picture, I love the big old bow. Um, okay, so I was feeling that. Okay. Now I have three more tops to show you. Okay, hold on. Oh, hold on. 
This is one of my current things I bought from Walmart when I was in there. It was $15. You can wear this like this. I think I showed this before to y'all. I love it. It's like a, a hot pink, bubblegum pink. Um, you can wear it off the shoulders as well. I love it. A nice little circle purse. This was just cute to me. Walmart, it was cute. I said, okay, my black pants, a white top, my pink lipstick and this, or I, I got pink tops. I could wear something. I could find something to wear with this. Okay. Now. Again, ladies. The yellow top, I had bought that from Rainbow. But I bought it in the store and I don't even think it's available anymore. Now this, ladies, you always need a black dress. It's always versatile. You can wear it to work. You can wear it to a job interview. You can wear it on a date. You can wear it out and about. This is, um, I got this from the thrift store. This is by Talbot's. So in the store, it would probably cost 80 something dollars in the store. But I paid less than $5 for mine. Um, a simple three-fourth sleeve, fit and flare um, dress. And let me see. You can never go wrong with a simple black dress, in my opinion. Hold on, this top. Okay. You can never go wrong with the black dress. Hold on. Oh, wait. Yeah, I got that hat from Walmart when I saw it. As a matter of fact. I don't usually wear hats all the time. But I do like hats, I'm not gonna lie. This is cute. This hat was just, let's see, how much was it? Cause I haven't worn it yet. It's $10 from Walmart. It's a mixture of black and white. No one would probably guess this is a Walmart hat if you wear it. If you listen, it's not where you buy it, it's can you hook it up? Okay, again, I like a mixture of high and low, but you know, and when I do see the cute things at the thrift store, I mean it's only five dollars. I rack up on some stuff. So I love this hat. Matter of fact. So maybe I would wear it with a black maxi and not necessarily that dress. I'm not sure. Something longer, a little more elegant looking or something. I'm going out to wine tasting or something. I don't know. Um, let's see. I love it. I love this hat. I got one more hat from Walmart too. And what I love, ladies, you already know when you wear wigs and stuff, let's be honest, most hats don't even fit. And that's why I bought this hat too, because I actually could slide it on my head with no problem. I don't know why more companies don't make um, bigger size hats. It makes no sense. But it fits perfect. So I love that. Also, with my black dress, since it's a simple black dress, my way of making something simple a little sexy is my shoes. And we all know that Payless went out of business, but years ago I bought these shoes. I only wore these shoes literally one time. I need to wear them more. Um, I love this and I would wear it with that dress because of the diamond. It's a wedge heel. 
and it has the diamond design down the middle it's very sexy on person in person trust me when i tell you this i should have took a picture of it but it's very sexy okay and if i don't wear that i also could wear now i bought these off of poshmark i literally paid i sent in an offer for like seven dollars and the woman accepted it i couldn't believe it yes they were worn but no one's gonna see the inside part once you put it on it's a it's by torrid and torrid these shoes probably would cost sixty dollars in the store but i managed to get it for like seven dollars with shipping trust me no one's gonna notice all this okay the design whoo these were gorgeous in person y'all a matter of fact where is it at okay gorgeous shoes I love it I love it now Michael I did let you stay but if your mouth is too overly sexual and filthy, you will end up blocking. I will give the permission. And it was blocked anyway, because YouTube doesn't play that. Okay. So, yes, Vanetta, I'm telling you, don't mind this part, y'all. Listen, I bought them used, but no one's going to see that. Let's look at it one more time, because, listen, all my fly shoes are still in a box. My main shoes I wear, or I have them next to me, but... Uh, my best stuff is still in the box. Where is it at? I'm telling you, sometimes all you need is a sexy shoe to really set something off. The shoe. Now these are torrid. Torrid, I love some torrid. Only thing is with torrid shoes, ladies, the thing about torrid, and this makes me so upset, torrid is true wide width, but a lot of their wide width shoes are extra wide because, yeah, this fit me good, and I assume that I could buy my size in a wide, and all of them would fit like a regular wide. I've bought several Torrid shoes off of Poshmark. I had to send them back because even though it said, okay, let's say it's an eight wide, it fit like an eight extra wide. All of them was like extra wide. I don't know. Some things might be hit or miss because Torrid has the best wide width shoes you will ever see. The only thing is, is it's made for women with very wide feet. Or so it seems. Not a regular wide. It's frustrating. But I, I was able to find these and it did fit my feet perfectly. So I won't say that's the case for all shoes from Torrid, but that's something that I've noticed. That it's, it seems to be extra wide, a regular wide. I was hoping they had regular sizes because a regular size might fit like a wide, a regular wide, but most of their shoes are all wide width. Okay, so I have that. Now, from the thrift store, when I saw this shirt, this top, this blouse, I loved it because of the ruffles, kind of a Spanish style. It's red and it's very, it's just super cute. Okay, it's super cute. It's sleeveless, it's lightweight, it's a little sheer. It can be worn with white bottoms, red bottoms, blue jeans, black bottoms, gray bottoms. You can wear red with a few things. And it's this. I love this blouse. I love this detail. I love that so much. That's what caught my eye. I paid less than $5 for this. Okay, and... Okay, I might have paired it with black, but it will look great with white bottoms. I 
Yeah, Sheen does have nice shoes for cheap. The only thing is they don't sell large sizes like that. Like a 9, a 10, and up. They don't at large, most of their stuff, which I don't understand. I don't get it because most shoes come from China anyway, so I don't know why they don't offer larger sizes. Yes, Princess Peach. She says, with blouses like this, you don't need a lot of accessories. That's right, because the ruffles. Okay, thank you, Ben. Yeah, the black, was it the black one with the slits on the side? Um, yeah, you don't need a lot of accessories for something like this because the main attraction, the main thing you're going to look at is these ruffles. And you don't want to take away from that. Yes, the neckline, as you said, is a statement in and of itself. So yes, I really love that. So the last top I'm going to show you. I ordered this top off of Poshmark. It's by Forever 21. And it's sheer. It's like a blush pink. But I love the diamond gems on it. I love this. I don't know if the pink is really showing on camera. This looks great paired with khaki bottoms, white bottoms. White or khaki. I wouldn't do blue jeans with this probably. I could, but I would prefer maybe my white bottoms with this. And the it's just, oh my God. Where is that picture? I love it. Again, I have it with the black pants, but I would prefer it probably with white. I'm not going to lie, since I love the 80s style, I love sequins and sparkly things. I can't help myself. I love sparkly things. And what caught my eye was the gems now it doesn't have gems at, at, on the back but it does have them all in the front and that's why I said I have to have this I have to have this okay ladies so whoo, okay hold on for a second Yeah, white would be better. Okay, ladies, so I've shown you my clothes. I've shown you some purses. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some shoes I plan on selling on my Poshmark store. I have a few things, but I'll save that for a whole different video. Then I'm going to show you just a little bit of some jewelry that I have. I have a lot of jewelry, so I'm not going to show a whole bunch. Um, I don't remember where I buy, get everything. I have jewelry over the years. I get jewelry from all over the place. So, um, I really, I've had this for years, but I don't wear it all the time. Okay. And that is, I love a nice thick bracelet, cuff bracelet. It's gold. I don't know if it's showing great on camera, but I love this. I love it. You mean, if I don't pay a lot for it, I want it to have that look. I don't like nothing that looks, you know, I like unique things and I like things that I like things that look good. Even if I don't pay a whole bunch for it. Let me say, let me put this on. Trust me, with the right outfit, the right outfit. 
let me show you these shoes now when you see these heels y'all are gonna say oh my god y'all might think is this some stripper carnival type of stuff hold on okay hold on hold on y'all okay Okay, these are a size, what size is these? 12. Ladies, you got a size 12 shoe? Hold on, feet, foot. Give me a second, y'all. I'm getting something. If you got a size, oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Marion. Let's see. These are a size 12. It's clear here. Bam, these are diamond gems. Hold on, y'all. Cerebral is coming. Cerebral is getting something else. Okay, y'all, be patient. I had a lot of stuff to show today. But that was one pair of shoe. Yeah, they're high, they're shoe dazzle, the diamond. I would have modeled it for you so you can really see it. But yeah, okay. As far as my shoes, I showed you some. I'm not showing necessarily my high heels today, but I like this because of the diamond. The diamond, it looks kind of white on here, but it's diamond. Ankle strap. My snakeskin flats. Love snake skin. Simple with the right outfit, very cute. These are some wedge between your toe thong sandals. Let me put the buckle on. I absolutely love these. I love the diamond gems that it has at the front. It's white. Let's see. I can really see it. Wedge heel. If you can really see it. But it's gorgeous. Trust me when I tell you that. And as far as the shoes, like I said, I had got a number of them from Target, my animal print and stuff. Camel, love camel. This is ankle strap. Trust me, it's really cute once I put them on. Nice cognac camel color. Matches a lot of stuff. 
And now, let me hurry up. The last thing I want to show you is a few of my jewelry pieces. Uh, one of my subscribers, you had asked me, Cerebral, what is your style when it comes to jewelry? And now I'm going to show you a few things that I have, okay? I hope that you see this. Okay. Give it a quick little second, y'all. Okay. Now, look, when I was in the Charlotte area, like when I went to Simply Ten and got the stuff, some of the stuff I showed you today, there's a lot of shops um, near Simply Ten. Not far away is It's Fashion, City Trends, more urban type of stores. Really nice stuff, though, if you search through. And I, I always get a lot, I always get a lot of jewelry. I love jewelry. So I'm going to show you some stuff I got from Simply 10 is Fashions and City Trends. Okay, so the first necklace. Um, this was on clearance for $3.99. It's a long necklace. It has like that iridescent type of crystal as you can see with the right with the right outfit it'll look really cute so i really love that okay i don't know where i bought these sunglasses from but kind of giving me the jackie o type of look oh yes yeah I know all about Burlington Coat Factory it's a lot of jewelry yes it is but the one that I went to not long ago I mean it was a different state. It was terrible. But the one in um, Virginia isn't bad. But I'm not going to say what part of Virginia. But um, you can find some things there. So I like these sunglasses. Okay. That was one pair of sunglasses. I don't always get big sunglasses because the shape of my face is round. So or kind of parish round so I like to get square sunglasses but I did get these too these black ones it's actually black and gray I love a good cat eye and what I love about these is that it's um it's outlined with diamonds faux diamonds but I love these I love a nice cat eye and I love diamonds, so it was a perfect, perfect combination. Okay. So those are the sunglasses that I had got. I don't even know which stores, though, I got those ones from. Um, From Simply 10, I haven't worn this yet. I paid $8 for this. It's like an ivory color a necklace. Thank you, beauty love. I said, you know, I can wear this with some browns, brown and cream. I don't know if the camera's picking up the color that great, but it's a cream. It's a cream. 
brown and cream, blue jeans with cream, finding the right thing. Now I gotta just find the right top to wear with that. Um, I love some nice bracelets. I don't know if this will make, again, the animal print. Snake, the snake print. So, love me some snake print. Hey Lex with common last name, with a common last name. I do shop at nice stuff, but remember now, I mean, I only did recently lose more weight, but when I was heavier as a plus size woman, plus size women don't get to shop where everybody else gets to shop. I mean, if you want nice stuff, you're gonna get Lane Bryan, Ashley Stewart, Torrid, um, J. Jill, Mod Cloth, it's not gonna be as much as women who are smaller. So you're gonna find what you can find at nice stuff, even if it's at cheaper stuff. Like I said, even if I go somewhere and get cheaper stuff, the stuff I get is good looking stuff that people wouldn't even think I paid the, pay, the price I paid for it, you know? And I've had expensive things before that it doesn't even last as long as the cheap stuff. Hell, I'm in the fashion thing as resale, and I can tell you there I've been places where I've seen something that I wanted that cost a lot of money and the exact same dress was at a different store for like under half price exact same thing because everybody is shopping from some of the same people and it's made from the same people so I don't care all the time about if it's expensive or not and just because I do show the stuff that's cheaper doesn't mean I don't own anything that is not more expensive. But I'm for the everyday woman. And y'all will be seeing that in the very near future. Okay. And when I'm in Charlotte or if I'm in the hood, yeah, I go to those stores, those urban stores where this stuff is cheaper. And I, I find some nice stuff. God, it was buffering. I hope y'all heard what I said. I said I have a mixture of things, but I have had things more expensive that didn't last longer than the cheaper stuff. And if I'm in the hood, in the urban area, yeah, I go to those those shops where you're going to find Rainbow and City Trends, and I rack up on some stuff. You know? People, will, not everybody would know where you got it from. Only a gay man, again, would care. I mean, I can I can take... $50, $30, get a cheap outfit and look better than a rich woman who can't dress worth a damn. Either you can dress or you can't, don't matter how much your stuff costs. Either, you know, I've seen women with money that look a hot ass mess and I got something cheaper on, I look way better. So, I'm not mad at you. I'm just saying I'm making a point. Okay. I got this. I don't know. Maybe from Rainbow City Trends. I don't know if the color is showing. It's a mixture of pink and pearl. And faux diamonds. It stretches. Okay. Beauty Love says, yes, the church my mama goes to, they're always asking her where does she buy her stuff. And again, you can get expensive things off of Poshmark. I've, I've bought things new with tags. Um, and I managed to, I sent an offer in for like $10 or less and they accepted it. Um, they have real Gucci, real Louis Vuitton uh, for like $500 on Poshmark. Authentic. And, um, you know, because remember, something that was new last month is old the next month. If it hasn't been worn, hey, you can get a deal for it. Why not take it? Okay. So I have that. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. As a matter of fact, 
speaking of Poshmark, I love me some Poshmark. I bought this bracelet. I sent in an offer for like $8 for it. It has fur. It's a stretch bracelet. The diamonds and the star in the middle and the fur type of cow material. Let me put it on. It's really cute. I said maybe with the brown top or my brown maxi dress. I'll rock this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love it. Okay. Now, I showed some things from Walmart. And when I went to the jewelry section, I thought this is just so cute. And I like different looking things. And I could wear this um, turn both ways. Okay. It's a long necklace. And what I love about it is turquoise. Let's see. And it has the silver design or I could I could um I could turn it and I could wear it that way and I also bought it in the salmon type of blush pink color the camera might not really be showing the true color but it's like a pink salmon okay Ooh. now I, I, I think I bought this at a boutique two things I'm gonna show you now the, I've had these literally for years the condition is still great because I barely wear it okay oh my god I love bold beautiful pieces especially tribal foreign type of things this Ooh, I love this this is one of my favorites it is so stunning I'm telling you what a updo where am I here up Ooh, with this the camera isn't even doing it justice One, this is my my favorite out of all my jewelry like that's one of my favorites um i've never worn this i've had this for years i just sometimes i buy stuff and it's like i, it ha I have to have the perfect top or dress to wear with it i just can't wear it with anything now it's a mixture of brown and turquoise and let me see Look at this bold piece. This is beautiful. I just have to find, I have to find the right thing to wear it with. This piece I actually just got last week from the thrift store. The tag is still on it. I paid $5 for this, y'all. Love some sparkles and I love metallic. Oh. It's stunning. Well, I should take off this necklace. Hold on. Okay. Put this on. Okay. 
It's very sparkly in person. It's very stunning in person. It's a little longer, but I love it. Had to have it. I said, wow, $5. Totally will get that. This, I believe, came from a thrift store too. I don't even know how much I paid for this, but it probably wasn't a lot. I love it because it's iridescent, it's floral, it's very shiny in person. I don't think the camera's really picking up on it. It's so cute, so girly. Okay. Now this little bag of goodies, let's just look and see what's in here. I don't even know what I'm gonna wear this with, but it was so girly. This still has the tag on it. I paid $2 for this at the thrift store. Um, these are cute little bow tie, pink sequence bow tie earrings. I don't know yet what I'm gonna wear it with. But it's super cute. Thank you, beauty love. I'm glad you like my my taste. This gives me Versace vintage vibes. I don't even know. I said maybe I'll wear this with a blazer. These were $2 as well. This is vintage. It's pearl. Pearl with the black. They're large. See? I don't know yet. I don't know yet what I'm gonna wear with it. Okay. Ooh, I forgot I had some of this stuff. Okay, I paid $6 for this. It still has the tag on it. It's pearl. Cute little, cute little necklace. Cute, cute pearls. And who's it by? It says NY, but I don't know the full name of the brand. Um, of course, I paid one fifty for these. It has cute little bow with the pearls dangling. Um, this is a cute little bracelet. Okay, Lily second says no. I guess it's the pearl. Royal Carter, would I like to adopt a 21 year old? I'm open to it. I'm open. Okay. So I got this bracelet. It's a mixture of sparkly gems and almost like a pearl. Okay. These were just so cute to me. It was $1.50. It's heart shaped earrings. It's vintage. It's outlined in gold and with pink in the middle pink gems i'll think about adopting you i'll think about it this is so cute i hope the camera's really picking it up very cute and i look i bought these because i don't usually I, I didn't even know they were clip on i usually don't wear clip on it's totally 1980s vintage I said, ooh, with the right outfit. This is totally 80s. Totally 1980s, and I love it with an updo. And listen, I plan on listening. I'm going to get my hair done like 
some vintage hairstyles I plan on rocking. I don't give a damn. A nice updo with a side bang with some earrings like this. Mmm. put this jewelry back in this box I just have like three more things to show you I hope y'all had fun today with me showing you my style and what I have a few things I have more but that's a few um I haven't gone to the salon in a while because I like I said I'm tired of coming in you told me to come in at eight and you got five other heads to do. It's just simpler just to buy the damn hair I want and have a simple style. Um, I even wonder if these new stylists can do hairstyles from back in the day since everybody's wearing the lace fronts. Can they really do styles? Because there's some vintage styles I want to do. I love a side bang. I love. I used to love getting updos. Um, as far as my hair journey, I mean, I just don't really do anything to it. I need to take better care of my hair, to be honest, as far as, I mean, I see these videos, regimens and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I have the silk pillowcase and the silk bonnet and I, I, I take more effort to make sure I moisturize it a lot more, um, but I don't really do much to it, to be honest with you. Um, I don't even know how to cornrow. I was always embarrassed by that as a black woman. I don't even know how to cornrow. I've tried. I just, it's hard. I can't do it. And, um, I can't wear braids. It breaks off my hair. Literally. I've had that happen. My root broke off. I can't, my hair is very soft. I can't take it. But now they came out with the soft cankyl and cankaline hair. I think maybe other women had that problem. I'm not sure, but they have softer type of hair. Um, if you want the braids or you can even get um, human hair and do box braids. But yeah, it's too heavy on my head. And uh, my hair isn't, I don't have thick, my hair is fine. So I can't really take it on my, my hair like that. Okay. Um, all right, let me show you a few more. Now, some of these pieces got this bag. Oh, yeah. The thing is, yes, when you braid your hair, because that's what I do. Like when I was wearing the wigs, I would get my hair cornrow because the wigs lay flat and then I don't have to mess with it and it would just grow. The problem is you got to make sure you wash in your hair because when it clump up and my hair, the way it is, especially on the sides, it, it will um mat together. It'll be oily and then mat. You got to wash it. Keep it washed and keep it braided cornrow. Yeah, it'll grow. Also, um, yeah, I'll talk more about that in the future. I ain't going to say nothing because I plan on doing some, some videos regarding this issue. But yeah, the, the cornrows does help it. But make sure you wash in your cornrows. Don't let that dirt build up because your hair is literally going to fall out as soon as you take out the cornrows. Okay. Okay, so city trends. Uh oh. Hold on, hold on. Now, this is a bold piece. Actually, if I didn't get this from City Trends, I think I got this from Simply Ten. And I think it was $8, though. Give me a second, y'all. Yeah, I've made the mistake of leaving braids in for too long and my hair matted up. So I don't do that no more. And I condition it a lot more than I used to with leave-in conditioner. Um, 
okay this is pink it's light pink i don't know if the camera's really showing it good beautiful flowers small and big roses and i just loved it so much i loved it it's so cute beautiful pink I said, I'm going to wear this with a pink, one of my pink tops, some curls in my hair. So cute. Now, I know I, maybe I'm too old to be wearing this. It actually broke. It was a headband. Cute little headband. This is the last, basically. A few little small pieces. Okay. Now these all came from, I think, City Trends. I'm about to show. I got this last year, but I haven't worn them yet. Um, this was on sale. I kid you not. I swear to you, y'all. The tag is still on it. I paid $1 for it. It was on clearance for $1. I said, oh my God. And it's this. Isn't this beautiful? It goes right here. $1. I mean, seriously, I can't beat nothing like this. It's a rose gold color. It looks a little silver on this camera, but it's actually rose gold. And I bought it for $1 on clearance. I said, one damn dollar, of course I'm gonna buy it. I mean, shit. $1 is an incredible deal. So this is this will be really cute. I said, maybe a jean jacket type of blazer, vintage type of thing, fitting, fitting really nice double-breasted I don't know a white um, top so I love that and speaking of love I got this necklace this chain necklace and it says love and I thought that was cute. And it's rose gold with diamonds. It says love. And I got this. I wanted to get my initial. But I ended up getting this for $2. And uh, it's the. It says L. And I got that. It stands for love. Stands for love. It's an iridescent type of diamond. I don't know if the camera's really picking up and showing it, but I got that. I really, really, really love tassel earrings, and that has been the style for the past two years. This was on clearance for $1.50. I have some burgundy tops. Oops. So I got this tassel earring. I said, okay, with my burgundy top. This is cute. Then these, these are actually felt earrings with a diamond design. Of course, it's not real diamonds, but it's really cute. I love this. Come on, hope it can show. Absolutely gorgeous gorgeous I said okay with the with the right hairstyle the right top this is going to be stunning oh yes uh, 
Okay, and two things and then I'm done. Um, I like nice bracelets. I don't know where I got this from. Now, these are a little big on me now that I lost weight, but they were $5. It's a rose gold. And it's these bracelets. Some pretty bracelets. Nice rose gold. Can never go wrong with nice bracelets. And this was on clearance for two dollars, $2, I think. Where is it at? Um, I just had the necklace. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. I just thought it was cute. I don't know, even know what I'm gonna wear it with, really. Um, trying to get it right. Okay, so this is cute. Also, something else I found at the thrift store. Hmm. I don't know if I'm a seller or not, um, or just keep it on my bookshelf. I'm not sure. Now, even though it's a size 10, they were too big on me. They were too big, but they were comfy because the heel isn't very thin. Um, I watch some reality TV shows, but a lot of times I don't watch much TV anymore like because there's nothing out. Um, I just recently started watching a little bit of Mad Men. Um, some reality shows like Married to Medicine. Um, hmm. As a matter of fact, since you asked that, I'll do something just for you before I get off of here. Now, I love these. These are a 10. Okay. Yes, I've watched 90 Day Fiance. I haven't seen the recent one, but I, I have watched it. I think it's buffering, so let me hold on. not sure if it's buffering it's saying that on my computer so that's why i'm pausing for a second okay these are really cute size 10 has the cute little bow very very girly very very cute I didn't know that George got out of jail, but I do watch Anfisa, his wife. I watch her YouTube channel. She has a YouTube channel. I'm really inspired how she stays in shape. Oh my God, I didn't know he was divorcing Anfisa. These, I love these. In wonderful condition, size 10. Aren't these super cute? Super girly? Okay, so. All right, y'all, so I have shown, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me see something. Let me see something. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, that's basically all I will show for now. As far as
that's pretty much what I'm showing as far as my clothing and jewelry, a few pocketbooks. I have more. I want to save more for maybe a part two of showing stuff. I hope the woman that it asked me what is my style and what I like, I hope you have seen this today. Um, when I saw these, I really, really like these. I said maybe with a pink top. Maybe with my blue cold shoulder jean um, top I showed earlier, maybe I would wear this. I'm not sure. I know they're a little big on my face, but I like the pink and blue, the ombre. I like that. Okay, so just for beauty love, since you're asking me about stuff I like to watch, well, let me show you. Hold on. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, and this is the last of today. Okay. Oh, give me a second. Okay. Okay, so as far as movies, I listen, I'm a big movie person but today there's nothing out there hasn't been a good movie out in years in my opinion I, i'm trying to think of what was the last great movie i mean okay i saw something good on netflix called how it ends but there aren't any superstar movie stars anymore the acting is terrible the storylines is terrible it's just i like a lot of foreign films i do watch some things on a fire stick i I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube, you know, I, I watch a lot of other content creators all the time as what I watch is television and when I do want to watch something. And thank you, Vanetta, um, you know, uh, Vanita, you know, Vanetta. <laughs> um, there aren't any shows, T television just isn't the same. The quality, it's just not. And when they try to replicate the stuff like Family Matters and um the cosby show good time it's just not the same it just seems forced it's just i don't know and i used to like are you afraid of the dark on nickelodeon um but i am a big movie person i have some of the best movies you'll ever see in your life and i will show you i didn't like well i didn't watch all the girls trip um there hasn't been any so-called good black films in years i don't know what the hell is up with it um okay this is called Sleepwalkers. It's by it's a Stephen King movie. It's a horror film called Sleepwalkers. I love this. Y'all can let me know in the chat if you've ever seen it. It's called Sleepwalkers, where, um, well, when you think of Egyptian artwork, the cat people and stuff, yeah, they exist. This is where I keep my movies. I have another one. Only the best of the best. I'll name and read off some stuff I got. Now, some stuff you might think really cerebral, but I liked it. Okay. Now, I have trios or tri menage a trois type of stuff. Kenya Moore. You know, Kenya Moore is an actress from, you know, and this was back in the day. They had trios one and trios two. It is a little bit of a sexual type of thing, but it's really good. Um, you might laugh at me for this. I have the Twilight. I have all the CDs for Twilight. Um, Jersey Girl, the original Jersey Girl. Okay, it's buffering, so I'm going to wait.
Okay, it's buffering. I'm trying to wait for it to stop buffering. Okay, I think it stopped buffering. Okay, um... I have the Blue Lagoon, part one and two. Okay, I will check out the stream. It's buffering a lot, so I don't even know if I can continue. Hold on. Okay, give it a second. I refuse to talk if this is buffering. Oh, okay, Rob, you can hear me. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna keep talking. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Okay. This is basically the end of the live anyway, so it's okay. Anybody new, the stream was basically pretty much good, so catch everything, because it's really, really good, y'all. Trust me. Okay. Okay, I have The Blue Lagoon, part one and two, Dance With Me with Vanessa Williams and Cheyenne. I like it like that. When Cardi B, her song, I like it like that, it comes from this movie. This is classic. It's very hard to find. It's off the chain. Um, it's really good. I have The Notebook, one of the best love stories I've ever seen on film. Mystic Pizza with Julia Roberts when she first started her career. Love Mystic Pizza. Legends of the Fall, classic. Oh my God. Um, I kind of put some of my foreign films together. Memoirs of a Geisha, really good, really good. Pretty in Pink, classic 80s film. Slumdog Millionaire, um, Blue Crush, Lifetime Movie, The Babysitter Seduction, some Sex in the City. My foreign films that I absolutely love and highly recommend um bride and prejudice with ashir ashiria rai um fashion with priyanka chopra off the chain bliss um it's a wonderful turkish film and it has english subtitles it's so good i might even show a clip of it in the future my big fat greek wedding the namesake oh my god incredible a lot of these foreign films are incredible i'm telling you kama sutra the tale of love i showed clips of that amazing film towel head i know that sounds terrible but it was about a middle eastern girl's journey in america it was really good um beautician and the beast with fran dresser um tyler perry's temptation insecure oh my god i will be showing clips of that amazing of course titanic the ultimate love story i cried when i saw it the first time i couldn't it was amazing um obsessed with beyonce hush with G gwyneth paltrow sleeping with the enemy julia roberts fear with mark Wahlberg. off the chain y'all already know double jeopardy unfaithful Basic Instinct, um, Natural Born Killers, classic, classic. Um, fried Green Tomatoes, A League That Runs Through It, The Devil Wears Prada, 
the five heartbeats, white Orlando, all the Terminators, one through three. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead, classic. Alien, Alien one and two, the best. The astronaut's wife, Predator, Interstellar, the greatest film I've ever seen in my life, Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey. Stargate, Gattaca, Artificial Intelligence, Species, The Cave, Limitless, The Time Machine, I Am Number Four, um, Divergent, The Day After Tomorrow, Deep Impact, 2012, this is my disaster section, Deep Blue Sea, Freeway, Off the Chain with Reese Witherspoon, Jumper, The Poseidon Adventure, the original one from the 70s. Oh, yes, Silent Storm. That's the movie. Apocalypto, Off the Chain, Apocalypto. The Purge, Anarchy, The Equalizer, The Game with Michael Douglas, Off the Chain. Taken, Salt, Kidnapped, Arlington Road, Miss Congeniality, Joyride, Pacific Heights, Falling Down, the Da Vinci Code, my mafia section, I got The Godfather, Scarface, Goodfellas, Road to Perdition, Bella Mafia, The Fast and the Furious, um, Slavery movies, yes, I do watch them, um, Queen with Holly Berry, Queen, a classic, The Feast of All Saints, um, The Color Purple, of course I had to have The Color Purple one. Color purple. Okay, I'm going to go through my last thing real quick. Um, this book is simply mostly my scary films and disaster films and stuff like that. Um, I have, maybe some of you never heard of these films. Listen, everything I have is off the chain, okay? Left Behind, we all know that's about the end days of the... You know, left behind is when um, supposedly people disappear and go to heaven and those of us left on earth have to go through the tribulation. So I have the left behind CDs. The Seventh Sign with Demi Moore, very good. The Devil's Advocate with Keanu Reeves. The Calling, very good. Servants of Twilight, you don't hear much about this. It's really, really good where the little boy was the antichrist one lady knew it and they thought she was crazy and she kept trying to kill him and it's the war of trying to get the antichrist and at the in the end i won't tell you what happens but hmm the ninth gate with what's the man um uh, from pirates of the caribbean don johnny depp the ninth gate cabin in the woods the Fog, the original Fog, not the remake. The originals are always better. 1980s and 90s films are the best, in my opinion. Um, the Mothman Prophecies. Storm of the Century by Stephen King. Amazing film. It is long, but it's worth it. It's amazing. It's actually, it's very scary. Of course, the classic It. I didn't become afraid of clowns from this, but... I love it, and I have it. The Last Supper, a cult classic. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, a Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one. I'm not gonna lie, I used to be afraid of Freddy Krueger. Like, I don't even like to always watch this. Even though I bought it, I don't like to watch it. There's certain scary films that I will never watch by myself or again, and that is Pet Cemetery. And Candy, you know what? I didn't even watch the remake. I refused to watch it because it really scared me. Um, when a Stranger Calls, Conspiracy Theory with Mel Gibson and Julia Roberts. Um, the Josephine Baker story with Lynn Whitfield. The Bone Collector with Denzel and Angelina Jolie. The Guardian with um, Kevin Costner. What Dreams May Come with the late Robin Williams. Amazing film. 
Let me skip through some stuff. Okay. Oh my God. Interview with the Vampire with Tom Cruise and um, Brad Pitt. The best vampire film of all time. Right behind it I have is The Lost Boys. Now even though I got Twilight, believe me, listen, I know the real deal best vampire films and that is The Lost Boys in an interview with the vampire. Um, I have Copycat with Sigourney Weaver, The People Under the Stairs. I know y'all know about The People Under the Stairs. Classic. Um, Ghost, Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore, The Most Beautiful Love Story, very good classic film. Serial Mom, um, Original Sin with Angelina Jolie and Antonio Banderas. Very good film. Let me speed up. Um, Knights of Roganthe. Um, Top Gun with Tom Cruise. The Perfect Guy with Sina Lathan. Um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, a classic. The Cutting Edge. Y'all know I wanted to be an ice skater, so I had to get that. Um, that Old Feeling with Bette Midler, very good film. Um, Independence Day with Will Smith. The Pelican Brief with Julia Roberts and Denzel, classic film. Um, the Descent, one of the very few very scary films made not too long ago. Um, Splash with Tom Hanks. Daniel Steele's Changes, really good. I saw that when I was younger on Lifetime. Selena, classic film. Waiting to Exhale um, with Whitney. You know, Whitney had to get it, Whitney. Um, War of the Worlds with Brad, World, World War Z with Brad Pitt. And, hmm, I have a few things. Um, the Family That Prays and Laugh House on the Left. Some Sade. Grumpy Cat. I had to get the little grumpy cat, his Christmas. The grumpy cat's worst Christmas ever. You know, grumpy cat passed away and I wanted to look at grumpy cat. So that's it. Um, a few things. So y'all, I hope you enjoy this girl day, this girly day of fun and fashion. Those of you who were curious to see some of my style, some stuff where I might have bought some stuff, some outfits, and um, I hope y'all liked it. I hope you liked it. Most of you liked what I showed you, and this was a lot of fun. I have a lot more of other stuff. Um, just because we're quarantined or some stores aren't open, hey, some thrift stores are open, and you can rack up, as I showed you, with things for under $5 of decent quality, very sexy, very nice and simple, and make an outfit with it. Mix it with the stuff you already have or the more expensive pieces, okay? Don't be ashamed or embarrassed, you know? And I hope you like what you saw, y'all. So that's it. Bye, y'all. And I will be back in the future showing more of my finds. Okay. As far as skincare, I mean, I don't do anything to my skin. My dad and my mom didn't really have pimply type of skin. My skin used to be really oily, very shiny. It's not as shiny as it used to be, but it's still a little bit. Um, you know, I see some women talk about they don't even use soap on their face. I'm like, yeah, I use Dove. Um, sometimes put lotion on it and... Um, I mean, I have makeup removers sometimes I might use, but um, nothing beats good old fashioned soap and water. Um, it's funny because I used to put um, ice in my water and splash my face before I even knew that's what women used to do. I remember in the film Mommy Dearest about Joan Crawford, she used to wake up in the morning with the ice, a bucket of ice water and do that to her face. And I was like, oh my God, I do that too. But no one told me to, it's just something within me said, the coldness of the ice will probably tighten my skin. And that's what it's for. And a lot of women do that, especially back in the day, they um, would ice water. Um, one thing I remember one lady said from one of the Housewives series, she said she was told by her mom, don't squinch. 
don't overly smile and don't squinch because that's how you're going to get the the wrinkles to come in try to keep a straight face i mean you can smile but don't do it extreme to where everything's moving kind of keep it still so the wrinkles i mean i don't know if that really works but um drink water of course that's always important take off your makeup don't ever sleep in your makeup i've done that before and I swear to you, it does clog up your pores. I had got bumps on my face. I don't even get bumps, but the makeup, if you don't take it off, it can cause bumps. So don't do that. Always make sure you take off your makeup. Don't be lazy and fall asleep in it. Um, I used to get a cocoa butter stick and just put that all over my face before I go to bed. Um, but I don't do that no more. I don't really do anything. I mean... I think some things are just genetic sometimes when it comes to skin, uh, the glow of the skin or, or the texture or something. Um, I swear by Dove soap. I've tried some soaps that's just too strong, dries out my skin. Um, Dove is just so perfect. But I have tried some other type of soaps and I'm open to it, but I love some, some Dove. I love coconut scents. I, I have recently got into the tea tree oil type of soaps. Um, let's see. Oh, I will beauty love be doing a part two because I have a lot more stuff I'm not showing. I had a flashback, though, of that woman that came for me about my rainbow halls when that person said, why am I showing more expensive stuff? I know you probably didn't mean nothing by it, but it's like, I don't feel I have to show that. That has nothing to do with being able to dress in fashion. Like I said, some of the most rich women I've seen can dress worth a damn, and I'm not saying their names. Oh, yeah, you can use Dove soap on the face. I mean, you got to use soap everywhere. Yeah. And if your face feels dry, put some lotion on. You can put coconut oil on your face. If you're going to use tea tree oil, you're not supposed to use tea tree oil by itself. You're supposed to mix it with something to dilute it. Um, I, I've done that where I mixed it in with coconut oil. But... Thank you, y'all. Thank you so much, y'all. And I will be back with more hauls and showing you what I got. Today I showed a mixture of things. Walmart, thrift stores, consignment shops, Sheen, Poshmark. So, bye, y'all.